In this video, I'll show you in a few minutes how to solve the black screen problem you're having on your Insignia TV. If you're trying to turn it on with your remote control but the screen remains black, these tricks may help you. So let's get started right away. Turn your TV off and unplug it from the wall socket. Now depending on the model you have, you may have a power button on the back or one on the front under the TV. If you don't find one, don't worry, just skip this step. But if you found one, keep it pressed during 30 seconds. Then you have to wait a full minute. If your TV didn't have a button, just wait one minute. And then you can safely replug your TV into the wall socket. If this trick didn't work, you can also take your remote control Remove the batteries from the back and then turn it over and press the power button that is located on the top during 30 seconds. Keep it pressed and wait. Once you're done, you can put back the batteries, but I recommend you put a new set of fresh batteries in case this was the problem. Hopefully, this second solution will solve your problem. But I have a third one. For the third solution, go in the back and locate the HDMI cable ports. You'll need to remove the HDMI cable. And sometimes, as you can see here, there is an extension. This extension fails really often, so this could be the problem. Replace it or try to plug the device directly in the TV. I also suggest you replace the HDMI cable with a new one. Even if you never moved it around, they can break inside, unfortunately. And plug it in a different HDMI port on the back of your TV. Now, if all those tricks didn't work, maybe the backlight of your TV is broken. And an easy way to find out if this is the case is to turn on your TV, take a flashlight, bring it very close to the screen, and try to look closely to see if there is an image on the screen when you flash the light. If you see a picture appearing or some text or anything, it's probably because the backlight of your TV failed and it will need a repair. If this video was useful, please leave a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have additional tricks that may help other users. See you in the next one.